astronomers are converging on the University of Manchester this week for the Royal Astronomical Society's annual National Astronomy Meeting. This week we've got a huge range of things. We've met, it's a combined meeting of the RAS and the, the AG, the Astrophysische Gesellschaft, which is our, our German equivalent. And so it's brought more than 900 astronomers and uh, space scientists here to Manchester. And there, there is a real buzz about it in such a big meeting. They're, they're covering a, a huge range of topics, everything from the kind of cutting edge stuff around, you know, are that, um, the nature of planets around other stars and the origin of the universe, uh, right through to more um, I wouldn't say uh, parochial, that's hardly fair, but in our own neighbourhood looking at activity on the sun and what's going to happen over the next couple of years as we reach solar maximums. So these kind of topics are really in the forefront of people's minds this week. The National Astronomy Meeting as we know it today began 20 years ago in Durham. It quickly became a major event on the astronomical calendar. If, if you're a working astronomer, coming to a meeting like this is a great opportunity to see what's going on in every field. It's very easy to get kind of locked into your own area, and of course you need to do that to a large extent. You have to specialise, really understand the intricacies of what you're doing. But if you come to the NAM, the good thing is you can see what everybody else is doing and make those connections. So, you know, if you're working in one bit of radio astronomy and you want to see what your, your colleagues in working in visible wavelengths are doing, and it allows you to, to synthesise things and to really get a better understanding, drive your research a bit, give you a bit of imagination and creativity. Astronomy Now will be in Manchester all week, so visit our website for regular news updates or follow us on Twitter.